Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my fisher wife, Laura. I'm here with my fishing forever husband, Nathan. And we're here with our good mate, Starlo, for his Fishing Forever <laughs> Australia board game. The fishing game that has all the fun and excitement of real fishing, which... <laughs> not really. No. I mean, <laughs> I like fishing, but it's yeah, not but, exciting. Well, I, I, th I find fishing exciting, well, but the game... Obviously, it's not real fishing. Anyway, um, this is a, a guy who I think had his own TV show, like a fishing, you know, show about what you catch, where you can catch it, that kind of stuff. A bit like Rex Hunt Rex fishing, Hunt. if anyone remembers that. Yeah, um, very Aussie game, as you may be able to tell. Starlo, mate. <laughs> so uh, let's just turn over. The idea is to go around Australia, every state or territory, and catch some fish. Yep, um, that, that's Pretty essentially much. it. Uh, so. The, what you want to do to actually win is... The aim is to catch Thank 14 you. of Australia's favourite fish using a mixture of strategy, luck, and allowing everyone... And allowing allowing a mixture of strategy the and of luck, winning. allowing everyone the yes, chance of winning. Don't be fooled. Not every fish hooked is a fish cooked. This is exactly. why it's called fishing and not catching. Right. I'm so, glad I got through that. I'm glad you did too. So there are 14 fish um, species, and the idea is you want to get one of each, but... You don't have to necessarily get one of each to win because you can also play to just a time limit depending on, you know, how long you want yeah, to go for. Um, we'll have a, a photocopy of the manual down below. There'll be a link. Yep. So, just in case you've got the game and not the instructions. It's a very dry manual. Um, it's not actually that difficult to play though. It's a very long manual, but they repeat a few things and they want to give you more information than perhaps you need. So, you, you know. You need some help there. Yes, please. It's quite a large board, so it might be difficult to show it all to you. Uh, it's probably good you saw the picture on the back of the pack. How about we'll I just, just, no, just... We'll just... Mm. Oh, hang on. Ooh, there you go. So you move around the outside, the map of Australia in the middle, kind of pointless. Um, just looks nice. Yeah. It doesn't really serve any purpose, aside from putting the cards on those spaces. That's life and good on ya. So, let's just have a look at what else we have before we go on to... So that. here we have a scorecard, which is actually like a little whiteboard one, which you mm. can sort of rub off. Um, it's a bit old. Uh, we bought the second hand, and you can tell there's marks everywhere. They're not from us. No. We're very good with our board games, keeping them clean. All right, so one person is responsible for that scorecard, by the way, throughout the game. So then we have our money, which is called fish points. Um, it's just money. I mean, it doesn't work you any differently now to have than a if you had look. cash. And usual sort of yep. denominations. Yeah, and plain pieces are hiding underneath. Oh, yes. Oh, and what? Whiteboard marker. <laughs> so here we have the plain pieces. They're actually full little boats, which yeah. is quite nice rather than just a standard, like, little top up pacey sort yeah, of Yeah, those regular games. sort of ones. So I, I like that. I think that's quite nifty. There are also fish cards. Now, there are a lot of these because, obviously, more than one person needs a full set of 14 cards, possibly, throughout the game. And this is just what they have. So, New South Wales, you can catch an Australian bass. It's got their like, scientific name. And then it actually gives you a physical, physical description on the back and kind of where they come from and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, if you're into fishing, it's actually a really um, great learning tool. It's very informative, yeah. So, there are lots of those. It actually says weirdly in the instructions for like two to four players, but you can play with up to seven. I, I don't really get... I suppose... I don't know. There's yeah. seven slots on the check um, scoreboard. And it only comes with four playing pieces, so you've got to provide your own. Yeah. Um, so that's why there's so many, though, of each sort of fish. Each state or territory of Australia has multiple fish. So that one's Tasmania, but then Victoria. So we'll I mean, get around to another, like, New South Wales Tas one. Has Black Bream... Black, like there's brown, two and brown. Maybe each? Yeah, there brown, yeah. So there's two uh, types of fish in each sort of state. There's the other one yellow tail kingfish for New South Wales, uh, Queensland, trout in Queensland. There, too. We should probably mention it's actually not a bad game to play. It, it sounds oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I think it's not a bad game to play. Nathan did not enjoy it. Yeah, well, there, there's reasons for that which I won't go into, but um. It seems very dry and a fishing game you think wouldn't be that interesting, but um, the way it sort of plays, um, it's actually... We're going to talk about that, because yeah. we're not, we're not going to play this for you. It's actually quite a long game. Think, um, think almost Monopoly. I mean, trying to get like that last fish you need. Exactly. So, uh, as we mentioned, you have to collect 14 fish or play to a time limit. So, say you could set like an hour you want to play for, for example. Great. Whoever has the most fish points 
money wherever I've just put that <laughs> um, wins at the end of that hour or if someone manages to collect all 14 fish first then they are the winner which so is very difficult it is very difficult yeah so there's two cards we'll show you before we go through kind so of we have on the good on you which are just general so this one they're the, the good things. you prefer to use barbless hooks this is the best way to return fish to the water quickly without stress as a bonus the way master will double the size of the next fish you catch Keep card until needed. Yeah, so they're, they're all good ones on the good on you cards. And I have the That's Life cards, which we've been told before. Mm. <laughs> During bad times, don't tell someone that's life, because nobody wants to hear that. No. Um, so these are the bad ones. So you forgot to put your safety gear back in the boat after cleaning it. Oh no! You have to be more careful. Immediate penalty of 30 points. So you don't want to land on those ones, because they, they basically just take money. Oh, now... This is the next sort of thing up. There should be, and I think we've managed to skip them, um, state rules cards, which tell you the requirements of fishing in a certain state. So if you're from overseas, you probably don't know, but we need to have a license here to fish in certain fishing areas. License, yep, yes. fishing license. And the game kind of puts that into action as well. So, so this is based off all, well, at the current, at 2008 when it's printed, all current Real, rules yes. and regulations for fishing in Australia. Yes. So basically when you go around the board, there's a start point um, for every state or territory. So let me see if I can find one. Someone before us has scribbled on them. So start in Victoria, for example, there. If you land on this space, you get the rules for that state, which means you're fishing legally. And that's okay. So you can keep whatever you catch, no problem. And once you get the license, I don't, you might be able to you, lose it. I don't think you can lose it unless it's on one of the cards, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you go and start fishing, but you don't actually land on this space first, you're fishing illegally. Which you still can do, and you still can get you away with it. You might get away with it, it yep. Yeah. But if you land on the... Check? What's it called? Checkpoint. Point. Is it land on or go past? I can't land remember. Land on. Land on, or if you get this Defender of the Seas, it's an on-the-spot check. So then what they do is have a look at whether you've got your... License or license. Not. Um, if you don't have your rules slash license, you get fined. So it's fifty fish points per fish that you've caught in that state or territory, and you lose your fish. And you lose the fish plus fifty fish points just for fishing illegally as it is. Um, so not great if you have caught a few fish going around in that section. But unfortunate. Well, I mean that that's the thing. Do you risk fishing without a license? I mean sometimes you probably have to in this game because yeah. Um, I think it's worth it, personally. I mean, if you lose the fish, yeah, it's unfortunate. If you, you lose you the points... You didn't have the fish yeah. in the first place. Exactly. So it can go either way. We're not con condoning, uh, uh, condoning. condoning fishing without a license, no, by the way. No, don't fish without a license in real life. That's just board game purposes. All right, so on here... Where were the dice? I don't know. The dice seem to have disappeared. <laughs> so mm. you get two die. I'll just talk about them since I don't know where they are. You get one white one, which is just for moving around the outer edge here of the board. And you get one green one, I'm pretty sure it is. I yeah, believe green. the dice we either took out and used for something else or they didn't come with it. One or the other. So the green one is how you catch your fish. So when you land on a space, say, oh, Australian salmon in Delicious. Victoria. Yay! You roll both die, and the green fishing die needs to be a greater number than the white die. So say you got a six on your fishing die and a one on your white die, that means you've caught one. That's also Yay! the best roll, because uh, the size of the fish is calculated by the difference between the two numbers rolled. Exactly. So that would give us five, for example. So on here... You have one column per person, then the state and the two fish. You have tick whether the person has the state rules or not, so you know whether they're fishing illegally, and then the points can be added up in there as well. So the bigger the fish, the more points you get. I think it's multiplied by 10 into fish points, and then you get the money. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely want to get high on the green die, which is the yeah. catch fish, and low on the... The white die. Yes. Yeah, um, so that's how you catch them. If you get it the other way around, then you just don't catch a fish on that space, unfortunately. So the other spaces we've got... There's a lose a turn storm space well, just down here. pretty self-explanatory. Yep. Go back one. You know, mm -hmm. your standard board gamey sort of stuff. That's life. you got the... Good on your spaces, obviously pick up a card now, if needed. You might need to turn over this way to see the aeroplane. 
space here. I think you can. Oh, this is, no, you've you've ruined it. <laughs> this is a really big board. Yeah, it is very hard. We've got a wall just back that way too, which is making it difficult. All right, here is an aeroplane space, so you can go to any state or territory that you want to go to if you land on that one, um, and you go to the start space of that state. So you're or guaranteed territory. to get a license of that state. Exactly. So a good starting point. Um, the other one, where is it? Um, it's called M Mustad, I think it is. I don't, I can't see where it oh, is. Yeah, there, ah, here it is. Thank you. It's over there. We can't see it. It's off camera. It just says Mustad in blue text. Yes, it does. So Mustad space. I don't know what that stands for. Someone let us know if, is if, that a if you know. Is type of fish or fishing term? Well, you can go to the next fish space that you need. So just anywhere in front of you kind of thing, you can go there. So pretty much anywhere on the board. Or is it anywhere the next? The fish next one that you need. Okay. So I mean, the next one you need might be like right in front of you, so or it might be halfway around which the board. Which is uh, just sort of off camera yeah. here. Yeah, Nathan's talking about things you can't really see. Ooh. Um, that's pretty much it. Or oh, if you run out of money or slash fish points during ne the game, negative score for you. Yep, it's recorded as a negative score on your scorecard, so you then have to pay that back before you can you know, yeah. keep on earning money. Um, at the end of the time limit, if people have yet to collect their like 14 fish, there are certain bonus points you get for the fish you have. Some cards cancel that out because some cards you actually have to hold on to throughout the game. So it just depends. Um, and the last thing Nathan's just pointing out over here is mm -hmm. the jetty. So if you land on the jetty sort of area, you can fish for any fish in that state that the jetty's located in. You have to throw the correct number. So I think you need to go one, two, three, four, five to land on the jetty. Yes, you do. Um, so say I landed on this jetty and I needed the yellowtail kingfish, then I can roll same rules as normal to try and get that fish. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's fairly straightforward when you get going. The issue it's I just enormous. <laughs> yeah, the issue I have is obviously you've only got one movement dice, mm -hmm. um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 14, 15, 16, <laughs> 17, 18. There's 20 spaces, so it's twice. And this as, is the short side of the board. So it's it's on the short side of the board. It's twice as long, twice as many spaces as the regular Monopoly board. Yeah. So the issue I have is if you don't end up landing on like the airplane space and you say miss the ones for New South Wales here, you've got to go all the way around the board and hope you get lucky and land on the fish you need. <laughs> That is true. So I, I mean, when, when we've played, we've never ever caught all 14 fish. We've no. only ever worked to a time limit. So I think that's definitely the way to go with this game. So sit down and think, okay, we want to play for 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, if you're really enthusiastic. I don't know. Um, but definitely set that because otherwise you'll, you'll just be going yeah. indefinitely. There, there's not enough spaces to let you fish in certain states you need. Yeah, I it agree. Reminds me of another board game, uh, Passport to Australia. Yes. Trying to collect all the different states and going past the state you need and then... Agreed. If you enjoyed watching this video, oh, don't knock the board, <laughs> hit subscribe and check out the link in the description below to our food review channel. Um, let us know if you've even heard of this game too. That's what I was trying or to say before to I knocked the board. Or if you Mr. Stylo and his TV show. Or Rex Hunt. Maybe both. Good old Rex Hunt fishing yibbity yibbity. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.